Today we are installing the Google Play Store that we have on our mobile phone directly on our computer with Windows 11 so that we can run Android apps directly and natively straight from the Windows 11 computer. It's super easy and in just a few minutes you will be able to use apps like TikTok, Instagram or even play some games which is really cool. If you want to have your favorite TV app too, sure we can do it. I'm not really sure if it's going to be really productive especially the picture-in-picture -picture modes but this will depend on the situation. Let's go to our Windows computer and the first thing that we are going to do is to click the start menu and search for control panel. Now let's click on programs and then turn Windows features on or off. Once we open we will need to enable Windows hypervisor platform and also virtual machine platform. Once we enable we just need to click OK and wait for a few seconds and once it's done it will ask us to restart our computer. We just need to restart it and that's it. Once we are on the desktop again now we just need to go to our browser, go to Google and search for WSA Build. Once we find the page, which usually is the first one that appears, we just need to open the page and scroll to the Windows 11 section. Choose the version, in my case it's x86 stable, I'm using an Intel CPU and if you are using an Intel or AMD it's the same, if you have an ARM CPU then just choose the ARM version. Scroll down to see the available versions and choose the gaps without Amazon or gaps with Amazon. Doesn't matter which version it is as long as it has gaps which will be the Google Play Store. I did pick up the first one and then I just click to download. Once the download is finished we just need to go to our downloads folder and then cut that folder and paste it into our main drive. In my particular case it's the C drive. Now let's extract the folder and after the extraction let's move the main folder with the files in it to our C drive. We just need to cut and paste and once we do that we can delete the zip file and also the folder that was extracted from the zip so that we just have our C drive clean and without any extra folders. So we just keep the main folder. Now we just need to open it up and look for the file named run. This is the one that we need to right click and then choose run as administrator and if we see a warning just click run anyway. There's a window that will open and the installation will begin. It will take about two minutes or so. It will be quicker than this video, I will guarantee that. But in the meantime there will be a window opening up or a pop-up to be more precise. We just need to click next and for the camera and microphone uh, the permissions it doesn't matter if we say yes or no because later on we can just change in the Android settings. Now once the installation finishes which is fast the Google Play Store is ready to be used. Now I just need to log in and put in my credentials, after that I can start installing my favorite apps. Doesn't matter if it's games or regular apps, they work great. Now the performance will depend on the computer that we are using. If we have a recent machine then the performance will be great, with 16 gigabytes will be more than fine, 8 gigabytes will be the bare minimum. Google Gemini was listening to the conversation so probably it's giving me hints to on how I should record the video and I, I listen to him. And now I can just use the Google Play Store like I do on my phone. I can start installing apps and there are some things that are really useful, at least to me, like using for example Instagram app on the PC to post and schedule content directly, which is something that I can't do on the browser. Actually I can post but I can't schedule. Or if I want to play some games on a bigger screen, this is a great way to do without having an emulator or having my TV app running in full screen or picture in picture, which is probably my favorite one. And I'm not really sure if it's going to be handy if we are doing a task which requires our attention. But if it's a task that is tedious and boring and you are allowed to watch TV while you are working then why not? The experience is awesome, much better than on a phone and probably in some situations you will have your phone like this and your computer like that, so why not have everything on the same screen. There's space available for everything. If you need to access settings, which you might if you use it intensively, then just go to your start menu and search for the Windows subsystem for 
Android and you will have options to um, change most of the things including file access for the Android system which I imagine that you will want for example if you want to use Instagram and if you want to do posts then you will want to have access to the storage and that is it hopefully you've enjoyed the video and if you did so don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you on the next one